It's really hard for me to explain to people what is going on in my head. I mean, I'm struggling to juggle not just myself, but Isis Rain. My name is Massey White Knife. <laughs> My name is also Isis Rain. I'm a two spirited entrepreneur who made millions in Canada's oil sands. And then I lost everything. Now it's time to face my demons and reclaim my life. I am still queen of the oil patch. And what are we doing today? You know what I really loved? Is the mature, minimal, you know, that soft ISIS? Yes. Yeah. My struggle with my mental health is, is like, how long can I live, like as Massey, feeling this hollow, this unhappy? Okay. But when I'm ISIS Rain, I feel beautiful and I feel love. Like, I'm feeling emotions. Are we ready? Ready to make some music? You! Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet Will. I can't believe that we got him. Right? I am working on my second album, and I'm going to be working with a producer. Hello! Hey! Hi. Oh, my God! How's it going? Come on in. Hey, come on in. After listening to your own music over and over, you start to become your biggest critic. Have a seat. So I need to get someone's fresh ears to listen to the music before the album will be complete. I'm like so desperate to like get this album done. Maybe vocal overdubs, you know, look at the beats, see where they're at, and just make it as strong as we possibly can. There's a studio that I set up, right? Okay, cool. Um, they're good with beats, they're good engineers. I, I think we should head over there. Yay, I'm see, so excited. The first album was more of a reflection of my life and what I've been through. It was kind of depressing. <laughs> this album, it's almost like, yes, I was successful. I won all these awards in business. But after the fire in Fort McMurray, I lost all of that. I really had to like fight to get back on top. This album, the songs are upbeat and more about flourishing and surviving and thriving. So that's why I named the album Redemption, because I feel like I am redeeming myself. Yeah, if you're doing that with music, it's very therapeutic. All righty. One, one, two. So this album, this is really me, right? It's cool, it's sexy, it's aggressive, but it's called Redemption, because I've been through a lot. Let's check it out. This is sweet. I love that just nasty bass. Yeah, it's cool, eh? I really love the fact that he likes my music and thinks I got something. So now like, this is where it's like, OK, how do we take it to the next level? There's so many places on my mind. There's a couple little things I hear that can maybe be cleaned up just a touch on the production side, but it's like 90 to 95% done. And I have till September 13th because okay, I'm having so an album release party. I feel like strict deadlines are good because if you have forever to finish an album, you'll take forever to finish an album. We have a tight time frame. It's not even now or never, it's now. Like, let's get it. I'm pretty excited about the album, but when I take that wig off at the end, of the night and I become messy again, I go back into a depression. It is very difficult living two lives in one body. But after seeking help, going to treatment, I should be happy with who I am. There's a huge struggle right now. Am I comfortable just being messy? 
just myself? I don't know. So how are you feeling right now? I feel like I don't know what to say. I keep thinking, like, you know, what do I have to do in life to, to finally, like, feel some type of joy? Yes. I don't really know how to celebrate. Mm. I think a strength of yours on stage, you're able to, like, connect and, and have a great time. Mm. I believe that the stage gives Massey an opportunity to be an artist. That has therapeutic benefits. Dance? Music, all of that stuff allows us to express ourselves freely. The dance might be like well, That's a way to release trauma, right? I know that's what I do. You are an entertainer. So a strategy I have for you, if you're willing, is to entertain little Massey. There is that inner child that just needs to play. You just need to allow Massey to play again. Just kind of let your legs out long. You can just completely relax into the earth. Massey's counselor recommended that we try something new and something fun, so I thought maybe we'd try some hot yoga. Let any kind of tension that's on your body just drip off onto the mat. Ugh. We press into the left arm, coming into a tabletop position. <gasps> Massey, get up on your hands and knees. Huh? Coming onto your oh. hands and knees. <laughs> Go, good one. What we're going to do is a vinyasa. So you start off in downward dog. You come forward, taking a cobra position, gazing up, and then pressing back through the knees. Hips go high, downward facing dog. Ooh, I can feel that. Setting up for a high lunge. Coming into a yogi squat. Just make it organic. Make it your own. <sighs> Just let everything pour down to the earth. <sighs> really focusing on using the breath. <sighs> ah. Ah. So this next one is called pigeon. Ah. Oh. 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 oh my god. From my heart to yours, namaste. You're good. Oh my god. You okay? Uh, I think I did okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the album's coming along really good, but there's so much work that has to be done to pull this off. That right there, I would like to hear that tuk -tuk 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 thing at the beginning. Like right there, right? Yeah. Like tuk -tuk 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 -tuk. <laughs> Jake really gets the fact that I don't have a lot of training, but he believes in my music. I, this is where I think that we could do something with the vocals. Bring some like attitude to it. Let's try a couple and then let, tell me if I'm on the right track. Okay, perfect. Show them what you want. Let's try it out again. Wow, damn it hurts. All right, here, try one more. He's taking his time and making sure that I feel comfortable, which I think that helps bring out the creative side in me. That was actually awesome. You want to try doing one higher up? OK. OK, and then we can layer a few and harmonize them. Do a choir of Isis Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of listen back yeah. to what we have here. <laughs> yeah. Cut a few things together. Oh. Yeah. So come with me. I think we're like maybe six hours away from finishing the album. I'm super excited. Oh, I like that the ending there where it just goes up. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so cool. <laughs> I 
have finished my album. Breaker Breaker 1-9, this is Isis Rain leading the convoy. And my therapist, John John, suggested that whenever there's a success, I should actually, like, reward myself. <laughs> I'm coming up on you. So I thought, like, when Brad came into town, this would be, like, my pat on the back. Whee! Just all fun, all day. I don't know how to back up. Oh, there's a switch right between your legs there. It says uh, forward reverse. Where? The uh, right between your legs. No? I'm pretty sure. No? Oh, there. Oh, sorry. Well, it's icy. It starts to get better if you use your brake. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Uh, uh, uh. Me and Brad are very competitive. I'm like right on your tail. Not gonna stop. <laughs> Woo! It's Andre Peretti, Andre Butelli, taking the lead. Oh, well, not the left. Race isn't over. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! Woo! <laughs> ah! Oops! Sorry! like Isis Rain, Warrior. Oh. <laughs> We're not good at this. That's OK. <laughs> hey! Oh! <laughs> I wanted a day like this because I've never had a day like this. I've always been working my ass off. Hey. Yeah. And it wasn't until my therapist told me that I need to like actually reward myself. I'm going to have to make up for this. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get a bullseye. Ooh! That was That's nice. That's a solid three. Hey! Yes! Oh, are you kidding me? Another <laughs> you know. no, on. Hey! <laughs> he said that maybe I would start to see I do deserve to have fun. And it's happening, because I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I got a gift for you. Yeah? What? Yeah. Want to smash some shit? Why, why are we doing this? I don't understand. Stress what are you buying me here? Smash whatever you want. Like this. Stupid ornament. Smash it. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! You know what? I could smash this because I'm in my sobriety now. I'm, I could smash this because I'm trying to lose weight. Smash this. That's so pretty, though. I know. That's the beauty of it. Is this kind of like a therapy? Yeah, cheaper than therapy. Because I have so much subsided trauma, so I just don't want to do anything that's going to, like, trigger me. Uh, if you're not comfortable doing it, then just don't do it. I don't do know it. what I'm doing, though. So you're going to take that stuff, and you're going to smash it on the log. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, then you can quit at any time. OK. Yeah. OK. Perfect. <sighs> I picked a glass that was an alcohol glass that I used to use to drink. My mind started to just go a whole bunch of places. If I start to break these, I would probably break down. Oh. This is not fun. I just disassociated. I just pretended that I was working like a laborer job where I was picking up and doing construction. Ah! I really just want to have a good day. I didn't want to like start getting into it and talking about it because I'm with my friend, we're having such a great day. And this happens quite a bit for me in my life. This is the type of things that happen with people that suffer with mental health. Wait, I don't know why you're Wow. Mm -hmm. 
It was a really great day. I'm glad that my therapist suggested, like, for me to just, like, have some, you Chilling know, downtime in. with, like, yeah. people that, you know, I care about. Like, mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we got to, like, hang out. Me too. I missed you, man. It's yeah, been like, so. it's been a while, eh? Yeah. I hope you can make it to the fight. You try my best. I hope I make it to the fight. <laughs> Better. <laughs> but before you do anything, have a chicken foot. <laughs> scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh my god, it's real. This <laughs> is like. <laughs> yes. Atta boy. Oh my god, I just swallowed it. It's okay. It tastes like chicken. Oh, it is a chicken, right? It's okay, yeah, it's just the feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs>my friend Brad came down to visit. We had an amazing day. We went uh, go-karting at the racetrack. So How much was it? oh my god, so much fun. Yeah. I felt like I was a little kid. Then yeah. we went axe throwing. It was just so great to like just have a day. But something kind of happened at the axe throwing. Yes. There's a thing called a rage room. Okay. And um, I just felt like so uncomfortable. Mm. But I didn't want like to ruin the day. Yes. So what I did was I disassociated. I had a shovel and I was, you know, yes. digging and working yeah. on a construction site so that I could do it, but not actually be there. Number one, that's like top down skill. You know, remember we talked bottom up, it's like body controlling the brain. Yeah. Top down is like trying to use your thoughts, control your body. This example, prime example, is you put Brad's feelings before your emotional needs, right? And I think that's honorable, but one of the main things is teaching other people about your boundaries. We don't have to always appease them. I want to be able to like, you know, let people know how I'm feeling so that I don't put myself in risky situations. I'm actually happy that it happened the way it did because I'm actually like now more connected with myself it's it's getting really it's getting better that's fantastic mm -hmm. that's really fantastic i'm performing and i have my album release party at the kaleido festival who gets to say that they get to like have their album release party at like one of the biggest festivals in edmonton words first Today, I felt like, how can I show people what I'm feeling inside, but do it in like an artistic way? I like the approach of John John when it comes to like our therapy. But if Massey's mentally healthy, do I just disappear? That's scary for me. I've never been so close to your crotch before. <laughs> You captured exactly what I was like trying to get. It's like illness, yeah. like virus, you know, or infection. Oh my God, that looks so sick. The statement that I'm making is, even though we look like we're beautiful on the outside, are normal, we're fighting with pain inside. seeing John John as Isis Rain because it was an introduction for the first time. And you know what? He respected that by, you know, introducing himself to Isis Rain. It's been great oh to meet you. God. Yeah, thank and you. I'm it's excited nice to, to introduce you. you. You're going to be awesome. Thank you. If you love Edmonton, Alberta, then make sure you say yeah! yeah. 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 My, My name is John John, John Rivero. From Fort Mackay, Alberta, to debut her second album, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Isis Rain!
ISIS allows massy and expressive outlet. And art is and always will be a powerful tool to heal trauma. Show me how you say To see so many people come and gather and for me to be included in it, it just makes me feel really happy. Let's do this just for today. Being appreciated for the art that I wrote, it was like really good for the spirit. Isis Rain is here to stay. Like, I'm not going anywhere, are you crazy? I worked too damn hard to build this. <laughs> What's that uh, show called where she was like, ooh, more, more? <laughs> Pornhub? Just kidding. <laughs>